Hi, Vince Riley of Stormwind Studios. As we're preparing for next year's projects, next year's budget, whatever we're planning, one of the things that we should put at that top of the list is the migration of our Windows vCenter over to the new vCenter server appliance, which is running VMware's Photon uh, OS, which is a Linux distribution that VMware has created. And why do we want to do that? Many of you are aware I've told my uh, classes this, and you've probably heard me and others say this as well. Uh, last year, around right before VMworld, so the August time frame, end of August, it was announced that here, uh, it was announced that the next full release of vSphere will be the last version of the Windows vCenter support. Now, VMware's always been clear in their direction. And this pretty much sums it up. So they want you to use this vCenter server appliance. And I know some of you are like, I don't want to do Linux. I don't want to, how do I migrate? All of this. There was at one point uh, out at labs.vmware.com slash flings, a migration assistant that allowed you to do that. And then it was gone for a little bit. In version 6.5 of vSphere, there is a migration assistant and a migration uh, tool that you can actually migrate. So they've made it easy for you. Now, what you don't want to do is get caught up at the very end where, um, you know, all of a sudden now I'm forced to do it. Plan it out. Plan it so you've got time to do it and get it squared away. Now, there's a couple things here that you can look at as we have these tools. So as I mentioned, there's part of the installer, but there's also a migration assistant. And this is going to go through and allow you uh, to do some pre-checks to see what's going on, what it's going to look like, so on and so forth. And then you can go in and actually do the installation or the, I'm sorry, the migration of this. Now, I want to walk you through the installation of this. Now, this I'm not going to go through the whole process, but just to show you how easy it is, I want to kind of walk you through this uh, real quickly. So, um, if we open up the installer and you'll notice that there are two and this is the vSphere um, 6.5 vCenter or actually yeah vCenter deployment so we're gonna go into the there's a command line interface for you command line people there's also a user interface there are three versions of this right the, the installer client I can do it on Linux I can do it on Mac or I can do it on Windows and this is something that uh, you'll that's new in 6.5 as well. So here's the new installer for Windows. You'll notice up at the top I can do a, an install. I can do an upgrade. That's actually how I want to do an upgrade from a previous version of the Linux appliance to the new version. There's a migrate and then something new in 6.5 also that we talk about in class is the restore. Uh, where we can actually built into the vCenter server appliance is a native backup and restore and we can utilize um, the restore function on this as well. Again, real quick, just walking you through this. And the reason I'm showing you this is, is to get you to do it. A New Year's resolution, if you will. Start it now. Uh, we want to make sure and VMware wants to make sure that you're getting this migration done and it's not that hard. Obviously, you're going to have to plan and make sure that you uh, go through and check off all the check boxes in the pre-check, but it's fairly simple to do. Even I can do it. So there you go. So again, real quick, walking through this, there's two stages to it. You'll notice stage one, this is deploying the, the appliance. So this is actually going to deploy an appliance, and then it's going to pull all of your data uh, from the uh, existing vCenter server that you have on Windows and pull that over. Now, of course, you have to read all 52 pages of the end user license agreement. Click on next. And here's where you're going to enter the source Windows server. So the fully qualified domain name, the migration assistant port, and then SSO uh, user ID and the SSO password. Again, as we enter that information and yours is going to vary based upon your particular environment. My whole point of this is, as we're getting ready to, to get into the new year, as we're getting ready to get into the new uh, budget cycle, into our new project list, make sure that we're thinking about uh, migrating to this vCenter server appliance. We don't want to wait till the end uh, when we're forced to do it. I would much rather plan and be prepared for it than I would uh, where I'm forced to do it and I'm kind of crunching that in. So hopefully you found this easy. Um, 
One of the things that uh, we talk about in class as well is actually how to do this migration. We talk about topology changes, so on and so forth. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Have a great day.